Sister Helen works with many different groups to abolish the death penalty because she helped the victim's family and the perpetrators and her eyes were open to the terrible aspects of the death penalty. I wrote a book, it came out in 93, Support for the Death Penalty in 1993 in the United States of America was something like 85%. And then I remember thinking, here's how God's call comes to us. The people are never going to see this. It's a secret ritual. It's done behind prison walls. I've been brought in to be a witness. i got to tell the story. Her visit reminds us of a very important social justice issue that often goes ignored. And it also invites us to take a deeper perspective on you know, issues that we haven't considered. But using that same open-minded attitude and serious reflection to enter into a new conversation about areas that we haven't really dived into quite yet. Writing is discovery. Prayer is discovery. Learning is discovery. Everything is about breaking open to things and going, oh man, what's going on here? Maybe it's deeper than I thought. The highlight was probably having breakfast with her. I was very nervous. She just walked in the room, was cracking jokes, and was hilarious, and very warm and welcoming and friendly. Right after the Mass, I had the chance to sit down with her, ask her some questions, um, you know, interview her for the newspaper. She is probably one of the most caring and open-hearted and forgiving people I've ever met. She was funny. She was down-to-earth. She was personable. And I think by being able to connect with students on a much more personal level, I think it allows us to connect with her perspective.